We're here with our LA Times best-selling author, Stephen J. Swartz. Stephen, thank you so much for taking time to thank be you. with us today. Thank we you. really appreciate it. Start with our question, right. the main question. Which is the quote. Which is the quote. What is your favorite quote from a novel? It's the quote that if I'd come here a couple months from now, I'd have it tattooed to my, my forearm, and here's the quote. Uh, but you'll never be as happy as you are now in your quiltish, innocent, book-devouring, boyhood, immortal night. And that is from uh, Jack Kerouac's uh, Dr. Sachs. Wow. And that, and that has always spoken to me, that, that sentence, because it just reminds me of why I love writing. It's just that you know, quiltish, innocent, book-devouring, boyhood, immortal night. Conjures images of sitting under the covers when you're 12 years old, reading um, Dickens' Great Expectations or something, and just being in love with the words, love with the sentences, the poetry of, 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 of writing. And, and you'll never be as happy as, as you are at that time when you're really in love with it and you're doing it all for the right reasons. Were you an avid reader as a kid? Did you read? Um, I, I didn't read a lot. I read Doc Savage, you know, and, and I read some, some, <laughs> some science fiction, and I didn't really get into it until uh, college, around college time. But you actually w went to work in the film industry. Yeah, I was a director of development for Wolfgang Peterson, who's a, a director who directed The Perfect Storm and Troy and uh, In the Line of Fire, and one of my favorite films of all time was Das Boot. Um, pronounced Das Boot, by the way, not Das Boot. Yeah, I found that out my first day that I worked with him. He said, it's Das Boot! <laughs> you know, I had to walk away. But, uh, but yeah, so I, I cut my teeth uh, with screenwriting and, and with reading thousands of screenplays, thousands of thrillers, and ultimately when I left the film business to write uh, a novel, it kind of naturally became a thriller. What led to that decision? When you're a screenwriter, I don't know many happy screenwriters. I know some successful screenwriters, uh, but not many happy ones, because when you're writing a screenplay, even the best, um, you're, you're generally writing a blueprint for a director's vision. So that blueprint then goes through a huge metamorphosis before it ends up on the screen, if you're so lucky as to get it on the screen, and then it's the director's um, film. As an author, I can be the director, the cinematographer, the editor, the producer, everything right. at once, and I can, you know, what I write will actually come out on the other end, and a reader can contact me from New Zealand someday and say, you know, why did you do this with this particular character when we have this, this, this conversation? You got something new in the works? You... I've got a couple things. Um, I'm working on a novel that's, uh, that's a thriller. It's an FBI thriller set in Amsterdam. I've been working on that for a couple years, put it aside for a little bit, came back to it. I'm also doing a memoir um, and then some novellas. I'm doing kind of a sexy, uh, erotic th uh, thriller uh, set in Los Angeles and the the kind of L.A. swinger scene, so that's kind of neat. Stay, stay close to home, topics that I know. Um, and then for Stark Raving, I've, uh, I'm kind of excited about doing something um, new and innovative and different, you know, a little maybe more experimental. But let's say we took you and we threw you mm -hmm. onto a desert island, mm -hmm. and you can't watch movies. You got food, you got water, you're good. You can't watch movies. No, nope, movies are gone. All you can do is you've got three books. I was thinking of three Fs, um, The Fountainhead, which is a book that I can read over and over and over again. It's long enough that it'll keep you busy on a desert island. Fight Club, which I've read eight times, and I can always continue to read Fight Club. Chuck, that's Chuck Palahniuk's best, um, and it influences my writing style. And if I'm looking for a third F, I would probably say Factotum by uh, Charles Bukowski, but I would probably prefer to, to stick with an H and go with Ham and Rye, which is... A, which is probably my favorite Charles Bukowski book. Well, Stephen, thank you so much for taking the time thank to you. be with us. We're really happy to have you as part of Stark Raving, and uh, it's going to be groovy. It's fun. I love it. All right. Very cool. Take thank care. you, Thanks. man.